All right, you legends. Today, we're talking about Jurassic World Dominion. Remember that movie that was supposed to come out this year? Can push back? Yeah. Because we have some news, finally. Um, Total Film, it seems, uh, posted a picture. It shows Claire Deering. Oh, so we have confirmation Claire's back. What's interesting about this is um, I remember the first proper uh, picture that they released on Fallen Kingdom was the Triceratops skull. And of course, it was like that was really important because it ended up being, you know, how Indoraptor died. It's not like a behind the scenes. It's not like a clipper board we've had in the past. Um, it shows Claire Deering uh, in a swamp. Of, I can't even say the word. Up to her neck in it. Into the thick of it. And behind her, what seems to be a bipedal dinosaur, um, but it has giant claws, if you can see on the left of the image. Now, there was speculation as what this could be. It could be um, a Therizinosaurus. Um, and I think that's pretty much what it has been confirmed. Because Colin Trevorrow himself tweeted this image and said, Therizinosaurus and at Bryce Dallas Howard. So it is confirmed that this is a Therizinosaurus. But what's interesting is, for a start, Therizinosaurus I don't think was on any list on InGen or on any of the islands. Um, and this sort of biome itself is like a mangrovey kind of forest, which, I mean, have we had swamps really in any of the Jurassic franchises? It doesn't really make too much sense. But after watching, you know, Camp Cretaceous season four, if you remember, the final biome they unlock on that Manticorp island somewhere was a swamp. And in that swamp was Dilophosaurus. And is it a coincidence that maybe a couple days after, you know, Camp Cretaceous Season 4 comes out, we now get an image of a swamp? Uh, I don't know. I think some people have just tried to, like, pinpoint different bits of the log and said, oh, that's the, the robot dogs that we saw in Camp Cretaceous. I, I don't think that is the case. And the reason why a lot of people didn't know whether this was, you know, Therizinosaurus, but now it's been officially confirmed by Colin, um, was that, you know, Therizinosaurus, or, or at least uh, scientific discoveries about, recent scientific discoveries about Therizinosaurus, show it having a big fluffy tail. Um, or be, at least being feathered. And that's why a lot of people thought maybe this is, maybe it's Spinosaurus. Uh, the claws don't really suggest that. All I can say is, you know, uh, this is the Jurassic franchise and, you know, it, it doesn't have to be feathered. It can be whatever they look like. I, these are genetically mutated dinosaurs that look very different to their counterparts. And I think it's probably what's going to happen here. Um, one of my thoughts originally, before it being confirmed, <laughs> Therizinosaurus, was that it might have been an Erla Dominus. As it would, you know, this is a breaking the trend for the first time ever in the Jurassic World franchise that we haven't had a hybrid. You know, we had Indominus Rex, we had in, uh, Indoraptor. Um, I think Colin might have said at some point that, you know, we're, we're done with hybrids, no more of that. Um, and but you know, Camp Cretaceous we had Scorpius Rex, but you know, that's it, I think it's supposed to be kind of I don't care. Kids surviving an island and Scorpius Rex and a guy who's. Like a hipster dude with tattoos who has loads of dogs. Like, I don't know, man. Like metal dogs. It's weird. And then you've got that, like, I don't know, lost in space looking thing. Ah, is it really canon? Are we calling this canon? Maybe? I don't care. Anyway, I don't care. But we have a swamp biome. We have a new dinosaur. And we have Bryce Dallas Howard. <laughs> Apart from above her head, she's completely dry. So she isn't in there for a reason to dive in. She's probably fallen in. But one of the best things about this picture was the comments that came from it. I think somebody uh, said, I bet she's wearing high heels, isn't she? <laughs> now, when these images come out, sometimes they switch things. Remember the first trailer for um, Jurassic World? The Mosasaur that ate um, Zara, or whatever she was called, um, they left her hand in. And then in a subsequent trailer, they took the hand out. You know, because it would have been a spoiler. Um, but this image just came out. And I'm thinking maybe they'll put the fluffy tail in at the moment. Or like, you know, later. Maybe they forgot it. But it, th the thing is... You know, this movie, Dominion, I think is completely wrapped. Everything. It's 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 post-production is complete. It's filming is complete. It's all ready to go and be shown at the cinema. But of course, we've got to wait for summer to come around and for them to get the best and biggest box office ticket sales. Because that's what it's all about in the end is making money. But it could mean we're going to be getting a trailer soon. And it's going to be interesting because so far from the promotional behind the scenes sort of things that they posted and some things that have been kind of leaked show that they've recorded in Canada for snow. Um, they've recorded in Malta, I think it was, for some sort of Mediterranean chase scene uh, with these new uh, terror raptors or whatever they're called, like the evil raptor squad that we've got going. 
where it looks like Chris Pratt's chasing them down on a motorbike and there's going to be some crazy scene there. We've also got now this swamp scene. So we've got three different, you know, areas that are happening um, where it felt like in the last movie or the last subsequent two movies have been very stuck to one. You know, you had the, the island, he's in the Nublar and with Fallen Kingdom, you had New Nublar. Maybe the ship, I guess, could count. And then, you know, the whole, what's it called? The mansion, Lockwood Manor. Whereas this one, we're flying all about. And then we've seen that there is a big transport plane, which is probably how they're getting around. But does Manticorp even factor in to the actual plot? of Jurassic World. It's hard to say. Are we going to see Kenji's dad? Are we going to see Darius's brother maybe make an appearance as he's trying to find the kids on this island? Because they still haven't escaped, if I remember correctly. God, that whole season was a blur. So there's, I think they're still on the island. I could be wrong. Um, and maybe Dominion's going to pick up with I don't know, Manticorp being a good thing and maybe it's got something to do with Alan Grant and all them and then that's how that's how they bring Dallas Howard here and this is the environment that they're, they're you know, creating prehistoric life as a as a subsequent arm of InGen. I don't know, it, it, it's gonna be interesting, uh, but I don't think that this swamp has anything to do with uh, Manticorp or uh, Camp Cretaceous. It would be interesting if it did, it would really throw one for a loop. And now we can of course expect there is an Asaurus to make an appearance in Jurassic World Evolution 2 and of course the toy lines, because I don't think we've had a Therizinosaurus like official one maybe in the old Kenner one maybe very rare but uh, not in the you know the new uh, Mattel kind of lineup but anyway guys I just wanted to showcase you that uh, maybe talk some theories through because it's quite interesting to speculate on this sort of thing but rumblings I feel you know with the movie coming out next year maybe we'll get a trailer within a week I don't know it's it's highly likely I'm looking forward to it maybe this weekend we'll see we'll see but if you enjoyed this video leave a like and until next time I'll see you cuties later oh bye bye